Good morning. This is Wednesday the 10th, and today's devotion is the spiritual sluggard. This is Hebrews 10. Let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up the meeting together as is the habit of some. We are all capable of being spiritual sluggards, lazy. There are times when we don't want to mix with the rough and tumble of life as it is, when our sole objective is to secure peace and comfort just for us. The note struck in Hebrews 10 is that of coming together to encourage each other and to spur one another on into living better for Christ. This requires a special kind of initiative, the initiative of Christ realization, not self-realization. To live a remote, retired, secluded life is the antithesis of the spirituality of Jesus Christ and what he taught. It's the exact opposite of his command of go ye unto all the world. Living like a monk, secluded, alone, not trying to fellowship with anybody, not sharing the gospel, that's the exact opposite of what Christ taught. The test of our spirituality comes when we find ourselves faced with injustice and cruelty and ingratitude and turmoil. All of these can turn us into spiritual sluggards. They can cause us to retreat from the world and to use prayer and Bible reading merely to soothe ourselves. That's what the monastic order did, the monks. They did some good stuff because they kept the word of God safe in France, but they became so used to living alone and just dwelling in the word by themselves or just with that little group that it never reached out to anybody. That's what he's saying. We might start doing to God for the sole purpose of getting enjoyment. That's what the monks did. They just enjoyed their monastic order, their monastery. They just enjoyed it. We might lose interest in manifesting the life of Christ in our own lives and letting others see it. If we are behaving like this, we can be sure that we've taken a step in the wrong direction. Enjoyment, peace, relaxation are the effects of the spiritual life but we try to make them the cause of the spiritual life. A lot of folks do this through their worship time at church. They, they worship the worship time. They don't worship God through the worship time. They just enjoy the worship time, and so they begin to worship the worship, not worship God. They use his stuff to bring pleasure to just them. Peter wants to rouse Christians to action by reminding them of what Christ has done. I think it meet, he said to stir you by putting you into remembrance. And the good way to look at that is, this is what I think of. When I think of worship time at church, and I think of altar calls, I think of the music having a powerful effect. I remember seeing. I enjoyed worship as a kid growing up in the church, but I especially enjoyed it through remembrance of watching those same songs lead others to Jesus Christ. It is a shocking thing to be stirred up by one of God's provokers by someone who is full of spiritual activity. Another great point. Somebody that you see that God uses to, uh, to, to light something inside of you, knowing that you need to find that. The danger of spiritual sluggishness is that we don't want to be stirred up. All we want is repose. We want to just lay back. Jesus Christ never encouraged the idea of spiritual repose. His instructions are clear in Matthew 28. Go and tell. Uh, my challenge for us is take today and reflect and remember on all that Christ has done in, just for you and allow it to stir you up into remembrance and then hunger, really hunger to get to fellowship this week. Let these, these memories and these things that Christ has done inside of you stir you up. That's what Peter's trying to do here, or the writer of Hebrews. He's trying to stir them up, Peter, and, and get out there and say, Remember these things, and then let it draw us back into the fellowship. And maybe we can be the ones that God uses to stir somebody else. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the stirring up that Peter writes about here. And uh, <clears throat> Lord, I pray today that we would uh, find a new level of that in our lives with you, in our Christian walk, that we would be uh, available for you to use us to stir someone else up. Perhaps it'll be through a song during worship time that they're watching us praise your name, that they are stirred up. Perhaps it'll be during an altar call and you ask us to go put our hand on their hand that you might use us to stir them to go and find salvation. Whatever it may be today, Father, I pray that we would be available 
Stir us up, Father, and let us not forsake you the gathering together of the brothers and the sisters, as is the habit of some, but gather every week, at least once a week, gather with the family of God. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for these gifts. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.